So in this video, I'm going to go over basic camera settings using the Frustum camera widget. So to start off, you have focal length, um, which we can set this to a 50 millimeter. So you can enter that in manually, or you can use it as a spin wheel. If you want to just grab it and find your preferred focal length, I'm going to set it to a 60 millimeter, 65. And then underneath of that, you have the other lens settings, which are the T-stop, which is actually F-stop in Unreal. But say we can set that to 2.8 we have the focal distance, which controls the focus of the lens. I actually, this is something that we're still working on a good way to focus with this system. We also have the camera model. So you can select your camera that you want to use. I'm going to select the mini LF, and then I'm going to select 4K LF. 2.39 so you generally want to know what this is going to be when you go into previs as much as possible so that you can plan your shots around your camera's sensor size so you can also enter these in manually as well and that will update your frustum camera we also have white balance which we can control the white balance of our frustum camera i generally like to keep this at 65 and then we also have hue which will control the green and purple level. This can be used for fine tuning the color while you're on set. We also have the saturation of the frustum, which I'll leave at 1.1. And then we have the saturation of the post-processing volume. So the saturation of the post-processing volume is going to affect our entire level and our outer frustum. So generally, this is used for inner frustum and then outer frustum. And then we have exposure compensation. So same as the saturation, on the left, we have the exposure for our frustum camera, which we can change or use the slider to change. And then we have our outer frustum, which will control the entire level's brightness. Underneath our exposure, we have our config settings. This is how you set your in-camera VFX component. It sets automatically based on your config when you load it up. But if you needed to change from one in-camera VFX component to another, you can use these. And then if you wanted to select a different Frustum camera, you can. Next to the config is our tracking settings. I'd recommend going through the tracking video if you'd like to know how to set this up and do calibrations. And then we have our lens data menu. You can open all these menus at the same time if you want to, or you can individually have them on. And then we have the frustum overscan. So one will represent the field of view of your camera, but you will most likely have this at 1.2 or 1.3 to compensate for tracking lag. But if you're using this for previs, sometimes you might even want to put it at something slightly smaller than your camera's base perspective. I usually keep it one for previs and then I keep it at 1.3 to 1.5 during a production. <laughs> 